Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And this is another video sponsored by Toyo Tres Hair. They sent me um, eight packs of their 24 inch pre-stretched braiding hair in the color 1B. So if you wanna see me put in these knotless braids using the crochet method, this is my first time you guys, then stay tuned. So right now I'm just showing you the hair. It's tangle free, it's already pre-stretched. Super, super easy to install. And yeah, so I already pre-braided, separated, <laughs> parted my hair into like about 50 braids. Um, right there, I'm showing you where I actually cut my hair. It's a long story. I'll tell y'all about it in another video. Um, so I've already done the back. So I'm going to show you how I do these next four. Now, it's super, super easy. I took about an inch maybe um, worth of hair an inch wide and it's important to braid the hair forward and not under so above and not under um that way you don't create a knot if you braid underhanded like me i realized it was kind of hard to um cover the knot so some of them in the back might have a knot but as long as you braid above and not under then you should have a good looking braid just like this one and i just braided all the way down these braids roughly took me about five hours it was super duper easy the crochet method was great um and yeah so i'm just gonna you know let the music play and be quiet and let you guys keep watching as i braid um again i just put the hair through the braid and I split the hair into three sections. Um, I put one of the sections of the braiding hair over my real hair and I braided over, not under. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy watching this video and then I'll come back at the end for my final thoughts. Alright, so I went off camera and I boiled some water in a pot and I sealed my ends. Um, very easy, just boil some water, make sure the water isn't actually boiling and just dip your ends in it. And make sure you have a towel so that you can take the excess water off so it doesn't burn you. But right now I'm just using some setting foam and putting that all over my braids just to seal everything because I have a lot, a lot of flyaways. And then I'm just going to take this edge control and then I'm going to do my edges. 
Um, this is a pretty good edge control. I think it's by um, Edgeworks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it is good. However, after a while, it does turn white on you. So just, you know, take caution. But yeah, I'm just going to do my baby here. Just put a little swoop, so whatever. <laughs> and then I'm going to tie it down with a do-rag while I do my makeup. And then I'm going to come back with the final review. Okay, hey guys, so this is the final look. Um, I used two full bags of the hair and half of another one. So this only took me two and a half bags of hair to complete this whole look, which means I have five more bags. So I means I can do it again. So I'm actually kind of excited about it. Um, these are super long. They go all the way down to like my thigh i'll have to get like a a full body picture and maybe i'll post it um or you can look on my instagram because i'm pretty sure it's gonna be on my instagram but um yeah um let's see how many braids i have i want to count them on camera so one two three four i have 45 <laughs> 45 braids in my hair um and this is basically it. Lord, can you see the line of demarcation in my makeup? Lord. Uh, yeah, you kind of can. Okay. We good. So, yeah, it took me a total of five hours to do these braids. It was super, super easy. And honestly, I think five hours is probably the quickest I've ever done um, these braids simply because the hair was already pre-stretched. So, I didn't have to waste time. Um, like trying to stretch the hair it was easy I just took maybe like um maybe an inch of hair and crocheted it through and yeah it was really nice now do I like this method better than just doing regular box braids mm, no like I kind of only did it just to see if I could do the whole knotless method but I feel like whenever you use rubber bands and maybe I have to do the knotless method with rubber bands but I feel like it just gives you a cleaner look when you use rubber bands and when you wrap the hair. So I probably won't be doing this knotless crochet method anymore. However, it was super duper easy. So if you don't have any grip, this is probably the easiest way. And I guess if you want like a cleaner look, you could just use rubber bands. So maybe I will try it again, but just with rubber bands and maybe I like the outcome more. But I did boil the ends and yeah. Um, if you guys want to see me do some hairstyles with it, I can deal with that video. I think I already have a video on my channel of me doing different hairstyles. If anything, though, I'll probably just take pictures with it, with different hairstyles. But, um, yeah, so far, so good. It's definitely lightweight. Um... And yeah, I honestly don't have any complaints. It tangles a little bit when you're braiding, but nothing that's not manageable. And like I said, you have more than enough hair. So I wasn't really tripping on that. But even with the tangling, and sometimes I have to like start over or whatever, I still had hair left over. Like I said, I used three bags. This is like almost 50 braids. So yeah, definitely check out Toya Trans's hair collection. Um, I will have the link to their, or this hair, in the description box below. And yeah, I really, really like it. It's super duper long. But Tony Trust always has really good hair. So I wasn't expecting anything less than greatness. I'll turn around so you guys can see the back. And yeah, I love my new knotless braids. I have no tension on my hair. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching and until next time. Bye guys.